Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Episode number two of Survivor Man. Welcome back, you guys. I hope you loved episode one. It's always so exciting to work on a new project for you guys. And this one's been awesome so far. Now, as a quick recap, in episode one, I was able to play four games. I went three and one. However, in that last game, not only did I lose, but I had three turnovers. So at the start of episode two of Survivor Man, we are missing a left tackle. We are missing a center. We are missing a fullback. But the rest of my offense remains the same. I think the biggest issue is missing a left tackle. Holy shit. Those dominant edge rushers will fly past him and smoke Mahomes if I'm not getting that ball out quick. Having all my wide receivers is amazing. Having my tight end is huge. And obviously, AJ Dillon, the quad father, is a huge necessity. If I lose the quad father, I literally can't run the ball anymore. Like, even if I had my whole offensive line, silver halfbacks are absolutely useless. So I'm really glad we still have halfback. If I were to lose a wide receiver, it wouldn't be the end of the world because I have three of them. However, since tight end is one position, if I were to lose tight end, I lose all three tight ends. So that'd be a big bummer too. But for now, I'm happy with the offense. On defense, we got pretty lucky. The only defensive player we lost due to our turnovers was one of my corners. Luckily, there's three, so I was able to put in Tyson Anderson, but I remain with PS2, who is incredible, and Charvarius Ward. My defensive line is flawless, my linebackers are flawless, and my safeties are flawless. Also want to give a huge thank you to Raycon for sponsoring my videos for over three years now. Raycon's got to be pretty amazing if we work together for three years, so let me clue you in. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price point. So you can build great habits without breaking the bank. So whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds like I'm using right now, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker with enough battery to last your whole next party, Raycon's got you covered. And the best part is Raycon starts at half the price of other premium audio brands. For me personally, I love using my everyday earbuds on my morning walk with Luna. The audio quality is incredible. They stay in my ears great. Everything I could ask for. Raycon also has awesome touch features, so I can change the volume, skip songs, all without opening up my phone. They also have customizable sound profiles, so you can adjust according to what you're listening to. So if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click the link in the top of the description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash MMG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Make sure to check it out and of course, enjoy the rest of the video. Now it may not seem like a big deal, but I also lost both my kicker and my punter. Losing the kicker sucks. My opponents are pretty much always going to return kicks out to the 30 or better. And the maximum field goal I can hit, I think, is 46 yards, whereas Vinatieri could hit up to 58. Additionally, no punter is actually a lot worse than it sounds. In Madden Survivor, man, if I turn over the ball on downs, I lose a player. However, if it's fourth and two and I were to elect to punt, that does not count as a turnover. Well, now that's an extra big issue, because if I'm electing to punt, but it's Trenton and Gill, I can only punt like 30 yards. It's almost like there's no purpose in punting at all anymore. Unless it's a pooch punt, very specific scenario, I'm probably going to have to go for it on most fourth downs. Regardless, we're still a 92 overall. I know we can win games. We are one win away from making the playoffs. So my goal here on episode two is to make the playoffs and win the wild card. Then hopefully I can save the NFC championship and the Super Bowl for the final episode, episode number three. Then again, if I lose the next two games, I'm going to restart the season. So Madden Survivor Man could technically be 10 episodes if I keep losing. I certainly don't plan on that. Additionally, since I've lost some players, I've actually freed up a little bit of AP on offensive and defense. So on offense, I'm 11 of 12. And there's kind of a really cheesy strategy you can use with AJ Dillon, the quad father. Now he has this free ability, Freight Train. It's two AP, it starts on. The only way to knock it out is to TFL. So someone's gonna have to tackle AJ Dillon for a loss in order for Freight Train to turn off unless you use the ability persistent. If I run persistent on AJ Dillon, you have to TFL him twice in order to turn that X Factor off. It's really cheesy. It's actually toxic as fuck. I hate people who run this shit against me, but I rarely get to use a God Squad, so I'm gonna be a toxic little bitch today. I'm running persistent with Freight Train. That's 12 of 12 on offense. 
And on defense, I'm going to use one AP to give Bojack tip drill. So now Bojack's got tip drill, mid zone KO, and enforcer. I also have tip drill on Ted Hendricks. So we're ready to catch those. Overall though, we're ready for the first game of this episode. We've got a 91 overall offense and a 93 overall defense. We are one win away from the playoffs. Keep in mind for anyone who is confused about my record, I started this series with one win, expecting it to go a lot slower than this. But our first three games were all rage quits. Additionally, I lost last game, but Madden didn't count it for whatever reason. So I'm technically 4-0, but I really should be 4-1. I didn't get a loss, so I'm not going to complain about it. Regardless, let's hop into this game. We cannot turn the ball over. We must get a win to advance to the playoffs. He's got Justin Jefferson, Edelman, and oh, that Mel Blunt may literally be the scariest card in the game right now. I got Mahomes, D-Hop, and Cooper Cup. Woo! Best case scenario here, we get a win, we commit no turnovers, and we move straight straight into the wild card. Who is that, King Henry? All right, he's got King Henry. We know he's scary. All right, he's gonna pass now. There is no way he runs the ball again after that. Oh my God, he did. Oh my God, I'm a fraud. Get him, get him! Fourth down! He's trying to spam King Henry at me. Fourth and one, is this a run or right up the middle? I gotta be ready with Ray Lewis. Oh, it is, it is, it is, it is! Stuffed! Oh! <laughs> I'm honestly shocked he got it. I'm very happy with our defense. I think we played really well right there. I think we spooked him at the very least. I don't think he's going to spam run plays as much. Ooh, he throws a nice ball. Mid-zone KO from Bojack. Knocks that out. He looks like he's going to make a mistake here. Let's go. Let's go in the backfield. Jump that snap beautifully. He's looking at a fourth and five. Ooh, what is he hitting me with? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. No, Brunel. Oh, and he got lit by Hendricks and he hangs on to it. That is a big bummer right there. I felt like that could have been our stop. Two fourth downs he converts. This guy's a savage. I think he's going to run the football. No. Another pass. Wow, he baited me, dude. He I got to go guard Gronk on this route. He keeps hitting Gronk on this route. Oh, I'm there this time. Got him bottle. He's taking a shot. Don't do it. Let's go. Oh, I shouldn't take this out. Yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. Shit. Ow, I could have taken that out so much better. Let's go. He was so consistent, so smart, and I think he just got... Because he was playing great until that shot right there. All right, gentlemen, let's go. On defense, he's got some monsters, though. JJ Watt, the milkman, the grave digger. A lot of studs, but we got studs, too. Second and ten, I might have literally just got TFL with Quadfather already. I'm going to block Kittle, and I'm going to run this play action. What? I know my center's not very good, but what was that? Unlucky, it's third and 15. We got to find a laser somewhere, man. Oh, beauty. Yes, go Kittle. First. Oh, fourth and inches. Oh, boy. Is he in man? What is he in? Kittle. Yes, good throw. Oh, George Kittle. <laughs> two for two, 25 yards. We're moving. All right, D-hop high ball. Beauty. Oh, oh. All right, no turnovers. Let's run the football. Good blocking. Good. I'm still going to run this stretch. Uh, uh. Ooh. Third and one now. I think he has inside stuffs in there. He has one inside stuff. It's the Grave Digger. Let's see if Quadfather can get past him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that was ran to perfection. Seriously ran to perfection. Fake PAT rollout pass. I never get to do it. Oh, he doesn't see it. Go. What a ball. Oh my God. Did you just throw a... That was a laser. Does he really run this ball? I'm in trouble if he runs this ball. Doesn't. Hey! I think we just pretty much put it away. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta snap this. No TFLs. No TFLs. Ooh, what a great run! I'm running this ball. I refuse to turn it over again. All right, we're going right side. Wow, that JJ Watts a beast! He's just not fast enough. Quadfather takes it to third and one. Actually, no. I'm gonna go at the middle one more time. He doesn't guess. Ooh, that was bad running by me. It's fourth and one. Oh my god, this is actually a pooch punt scenario. I'm doing it. I'm not risking turning this football over and not completing this yard. Since I'm punting the football, this does not count as a turnover. However, he could tie the ball game up. I don't think it's worth risking it. Yep, he knows it. That's why he's in five wide now. I got to cover Gronk. We got Ray Lewis on Gronk here. I'm hovering the middle to hopefully get a little extra pressure. He's got Gronk over the middle. Oh, there! Come on, man! That's my responsibility to throw at my face? I'm legitimately offended that you would throw that football. This is a rare occurrence, but I might get a legitimate shutout. All right, Cooper Cup, easy throw, great coverage. First down, I'm just gonna go George Kittle underneath. Something really simple, D-hop underneath too. Let's play this ultra smart. D-hop, 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 D-hop. Great catch. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, Matt, you're so... <gasps> I'm not a fraud. I am a fraud. I'm not a fraud. Fourth and eight. I gotta lock in. I gotta lock in. No focus kicker. Beautiful. 11 to zero. That should be all she wrote. Zero turnover game and a W. A potential shutout, gentlemen. Doesn't get much better. Oh, I'm so close to that. Go, Hendrix. Hendrix, Hendrix. Who got it? PS2 got that? Let's go. Ooh, sticky. Shit. I'm gonna go coach adjustments, ball carrier conservative. Gonna play this ultra smart. It has virtually been all quad father today, but there's no reason for me to go to the air. I go to the air and I make a mistake. I will regret it literally for the rest of this series. Oh, what a run. No, a smart football. Why? Why even take it? Let this clock go. He's going to concede the loss. No timeouts called. GG's to my opponent, but most importantly, I respect a man who will play the game out. So rarely do I get to see the highlights and the stats at the end of the game. So it's going to be exciting to actually look at this one. Is that score Agami? Has that ever been a real score in the NFL? 11 to 0? Let's take a look at the player stats here. We rarely get to do this. Patrick Mahomes on the Wizards. Goes 6 for 7, 85. No touchdowns. 16 for 72, four and a half yards per carry. Could have been higher if I had taken some of those for touchdowns. He did get the touchdown, no fumbles, and seven. D Hop, three for 47. Thank you for being there. George Kittle, two for 25. Everything is going perfectly according to the script writers. I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what Madden is trying to say my record is here. So prior to this game, I was four and oh. Then I won the fifth game. Now it says I'm six and oh. I don't know if that's because it's saying I get a bye, but I'm hoping it's not. It says win to the Super Bowl one with a check mark. I'm fairly certain whoever was coding this EDA just has no fucking clue what they're doing. I'm gonna treat this next game, since it does say survive the playoffs, as my wild card playoff game. I have nothing to overview or change right now. Since my team played amazing and we committed no turnovers, I can just hop right into this next game. He's got Defensive Player of the Year, Nick Bosa, Gillylock, and we're gonna see King Henry one more time. Mahomes, D-Hop, and Cup. This is a must-win game no matter what, regardless of the series. If I lose this game, I can't make it to the playoffs. So we need a win right here. We'll worry about everything else after that. He's got the... Ooh. He's got King Henry Justin Fields. That is so open on the left side. Good ball. Okay. Yeah. We're already in for a better game than last game. I hope he runs play action again because I'm going for the QB. Ooh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, it's not bad. Let's go, Judon. Negative four yards for King Henry. All right. This is a pass. I'm guessing pass. If this isn't pass, I'm in so much trouble. Okay, we're good. No check downs. Ooh, good bottle. Let's go. Third and 10. Get out the cuffs, baby. We're not in the bedroom. But I want clamps on. Third and 10. Gronk across the middle. I see it. Oh, no. Yes. Mid zone KO. Bojack has come up clutch twice. I want to call a timeout, but no. Let's fucking go. No, I missed. Oh, no. He might score now. Bye. Have a great time. Oh, great tackle, Hendricks. Bro, I was right there. Okay, we got to run commit everybody. We know this is right up the middle. Yup. Yup, 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 yup. No. Damn. First game of the playoffs. Whatever. Honestly, it's a good sign. I always say that. It's a good sign. Let's go quad father left side. I like this here. Ugh. Jesus. That Ed Reed was flying. Second and one. Not a great start. I'm going to go underneath here to Zach Gentry. Just take the easy one. We'll pick up third and six. I'm going George Kittle on the corner route. I'm going quad father underneath. I'm blocking Gentry. Shading to the right side. Oh, yeah. We got the roll. We got the roll. That's all. What? What? There was a double team. How did Warren Sapp just get me? Oh, no. How did Warren Sapp just get to me? Dude, I didn't even see it. I literally didn't even see it. We got to deliver a strike here, boys. Fourth and 14. This is man coverage. I'm looking for Cooper Cup. Let's go, Coop. Let's go, Coop. Ah! Oh! Coop! Cooper Cup! Spin! Oh! oh, shit. I messed it up on the end. I could have had it right there. Dude, the pressure got in my face. I threw a bad ball. Cooper just, Cooper Cup just bailed me the fuck out. First and goal, we're going with the stretch. How the hell? Oh, it's a silver left tackle. I just lost six yards on a run play. You kidding me? He's in the same defense. I think I can just hit Cooper Cup. I'm going Mahomes. Oh, what a play. I can't believe we just did that. So many opportunities to turn over the football. We don't turn over the football. Make it seven to seven with three minutes, 57 seconds. We do get the ball a half. If I'm him, I just go to the run. I'm just going to go stretch right. Oh, wham? Play action. Oh, now I'm worried. Oh, it is wham. Get there, Bojack. Let's go. Good stuff. Three rushes, one yard, one touchdown. I and mean, we're technically bottling him again, but he did find the end zone already. What did he do on this last time? I'm trying to remember. Oh, that's mine! 
in! I didn't think we were gonna get it! Wow, you really would throw over the middle like that right there. This Ray Lewis might literally be my favorite card of Madden 23. First and 10, I'm gonna try Quadfather again. He was so dominant last game on three rushes, negative eight yards. I think D-Hop is wide open. If this is the same defense. Yeah, he is. High ball. High ball. What the? F I still think D-Hop's there, though. Oh, he manned it up. Help Shit. Help Mahomes me. is still up. And then he goes down. It's fourth and 12. Is this man coverage? Is this zone? What am I looking at? I'm just going D-Hop with double me. Oh, come on. Fourth and 12. <laughs> I'm in fucking bailout village right now. I am the sole resident, the mayor, the president of bailout fucking central. And I got no complaints about it. Oh, beauty, 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 beauty. D-hop with an easy one. It's gonna take it all the way up to the 33. There's a minute 30 left in this game after I snap here. I'm gonna go inside zone. This could be a very legitimate nope. run play right here. Ooh, quad father. Let's go. Down to the 10. He's in positive territory finally on these runs. First and 10. He's going to call timeouts here if he's smart, but we're going to use all of this. Not quite all of it. We'll go at five seconds. Wow. I might as well be a blind man with how I read those blocks. He's letting it go. He's not using his timeouts. He's going to let this go all the way down to 25. For real. All right. George Kittle. Beautiful route. Ooh. He almost grabbed that shit. A field goal puts me up by three, and then I get ball at half. So I could always just do that and then reconsider everything here. See if we got time. I'm going quad. Quad father? Get in there! Let's go! His user had to make a decision between quad father and Kittle. He chose Kittle. Seven to hopefully 14 if I make this ball at half. The divisional's looking a whole lot better now. Ooh. Dude, I was fucking sweating, man. We started down 7-0. No adjustments on offense. No adjustments on defense. The team is playing so good. I ain't messing with anything. First and 10. I cannot find myself in another fourth and deep situation. I have to stop that. This is man. Oh, no. <sighs> It was a miracle that wasn't an interception. That could have been so much worse. Okay, so that was cover one. I think I could just burn this with a D-hop whip. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, he's all over that. Oh, I'm bottled. Third and nine. I'm telling you what, dude. Zach Gentry is going to fucking snag this shit. Gentry, get up, buddy. I don't know what to do. He's boxing me so hard. I'm going to punt this. It's not worth giving away a player going into the NFC Championship. And I, I trust my defense to win me this game. Let's see if we can actually punt this one out of bounds this time. I was unable to last time. Okay, it's probably not the best punt. It's a little shallow. I think losing punter was one of the biggest problems that we could have had. He runs for 10 yards with the king. I expect him to stick to the run. I'm going to go on Diablo for the run. Oh, no. He just came to my side. Oh, there we go, Lewis. There we go. Second and eight. He threw an interception on this exact play last time. Ooh, I messed up this coverage. That should not be JPP. Oh, that's a wham. That's a wham. Oh, my God. It's play action. He got my ass. Oh, great play by him. B. Oh, that's a run. Oh, bottle. Let's go. I own you, fraud. Second and 13. He's got to get in the end zone. This is a pass. It's got to be, right? What's he doing? What's he calling? Henry, do it. I know you want to. He wanted to so bad. Throws the ball away. Absolutely bagged. Third and 13. I'm guessing pass. He's got work done in. He's passing. There's no way he runs that ball work done. We know what we got to do. We just got to clamp. You ain't running the ball to work done. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't doing shit. Let's go! Ooh, very well could have been a fumble. Fourth and seven, he converted last time. No way. There is no way you want the score to be 10 to 14. Really? I guess I see the philosophy here because he stuffed me on defense last time. He thinks he'll probably do it again. He might do it again, but I don't know. To make it a four point game is weird to me. You get another field goal, you're still losing. Gotta get in the end zone either way. This is shaping up to be an excellent playoff game. I might've just, oh my God. I had a lane on the left side too. Great return out to the 41. I can't believe I didn't house that. I tell you what though, he has been struggling with the underneath routes and I keep trying to hit him with these fucking Hail Marys. These nukes, right? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Giving Quadfather a whip route. I'm giving D-Hop a slant. Yeah. The comeback. Oh my God. I don't think I have ever thrown a comeback. Mike Williams just came up big. I'm running towards the silvers, but I got to believe. <gasps> he guessed pass. Great, great blocking. Second and two is massive. He guessed pass there. He's shading everything outside. I'm going to run this. I'm going inside zone split. This should be there. Second and two. I met some resistance. This is so fucking cheesy, but I actually think QB sneak is the move here because he's not going to come out and goal line. Can I get this? He looks like he's going to stuff this. Nope. Call me the Philadelphia Eagles, baby. First and 10. I got to move the clock with that. I'm running this right side. I can't run that left side. First and 10. Oh, no. Oh. 
<laughs> that might have been the luckiest thing of today. How did that DB not make that tackle? He was staring me down. Whatever. Second and one. Clock is ticking. Attack in the middle. Or he guessed run. Three seconds on the clock. This is a huge conversion. D hop. Easy. <gasps> ah, I'm gonna kill myself. How, oh, man? How's it a dead eye bullet pass? Fourth and three. I'm going for it. I think it's still DB fire two. I think D hop's wide open. He knew it, but he can't get to it. Let's go. A first down puts me in an incredible position, but I got to get it first. Second and seven. This is DB fire two. Ooh, ooh. Good broken tackle, but not enough. Two minute warning here. It's third and seven. I think coach wants me to go yard for this. I think coach wants me to go balls deep and go get this. I'm going to motion quad father. I want to throw this ball to George Kittle. I'm hoping I can spook him to look at Cooper Cup. Kittle. Yup. God, dude, the decoy. The decoy. Second and goal. I'm going to go to the edge here. Touchdown wins it, but I'm not going crazy for a touchdown here. Oh my God. I'm actually going to get one. Maybe not. Oh, I'm ball carrier conservative. I can't break tackles. Nice play by him. The game is very much not over. Quadfather breaks one. Honestly, he burnt a lot of clock on that play. I'm very proud of him for that. He has no timeouts to ice me. I just got to hit this. Should be the easiest kick of my life, I'm hoping. Good. Now you hold A. You can hold A. It'll take it down to three seconds. I think three seconds on that play clock. Boot it through. We got to hold for 16 seconds, zero timeouts. What does coach suggest? No, fuck coach. I'm playing everybody deep and I'm blitzing. I don't want that quarterback to have time to make some ridiculous ass play. Don't let him pull some fucking shenanigans, man. Go get him. Nope. Honestly, you gotta let him catch that ball. Let him catch that ball and tackle him. But hey, it worked perfectly. The same thing. Go get the QB. Oh no. Oh yes! Oh yes! Chavarius Ward! That's all she wrote! Please don't quit. Please don't quit. Let me kneel. Let me kneel. You're a fraud. You're a fucking fraud. I want to see the stats. A win in the divisional. Zero turnovers once again. I punted twice. I literally punted twice. That was a defensive game. That was a great game. And take a look. The script writers are very happy. It says playoffs progress. One of two wins. And up here in the top left, it still says playoffs. So all this means is my next game's the NFC Championship. And my game after that is actually the Super Bowl. The most important game I would say is next though. I actually think the NFC Championship is more important than the Super Bowl because if I commit multiple turnovers in the NFC Championship, I could lose my quarterback for the Super Bowl. I could lose my halfback. I could lose so many of these players. So I'm so proud of us in these two games to commit no turnovers, but I still got to clutch up in the NFC Championship and of course I got to win the Super Bowl. Gentlemen, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. This has been episode two of Madden Survivor, man. I can't wait to see you in episode three. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.